guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today is Mother's Day so I want to first say happy Mother's Day to my mother and then to all the other mothers out there happy Mother's Day to you as well I do have my samples from last week that I'm going to be talking about then we're gonna pull some new samples and then I'm going to be addressing some changes on my channel so you guys can stay tuned for that information as well if you'd like to so let's get started with the samples from last week. The first sample that I tried is the Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion. This is the Age Reform. This is actually a really good serum. Did I notice a difference in a week's time? No. I couldn't tell you that my skin looked any different whatsoever, but it did not cause any kind of breakouts or anything like that, which is, for me, that's a key part to trying out all these products is that does it cause my skin to break out? It didn't. It was pretty hydrating, but I wouldn't say it's the best for hydration. I'd say it's more along the lines of something for like normal skin. For me, I had to of course still use other things in combination with this to make my skin as hydrated as I need for it to be with my extra dry skin. I really did enjoy it. I'm going to continue to use it until this is completely empty. You guys sometimes wonder what I do with samples if I, you know, once I'm done with the sample Sunday. If I really like the product or if I'm still trying to figure the product out, then I will put it back into my bathroom and then I will use it up completely to get a fur further thought and opinion on it as well. So then you may end up seeing something like this into an empties. If it was a product that I absolutely hated, then it's honestly, it's just going to get tossed or it may get passed along to someone else as long as it can be used by somebody else, somebody else. So for me, I'm going to stick this back in my bathroom and try it out a little bit more to see if I can continue to use it and to see if I see more results, even though after a week's time of using it, I saw nothing. The next thing is this right here. This is the Hemp's, the original herbal shampoo for damaged and color treated hair. I really do like this. I shampooed my hair twice with this. I shampoo my hair twice a week and that's all that I typically shampoo my hair with my hair being hair with my hair being dyed and being blonde that it's dyed. Uh, or yellow. <laughs> it's not really blonde. Um, but I do not like to wash my hair very often because it's very dry as well. So this did not cause my hair to get dry or anything like that. It smells really, really good. It has a nice sudsing to it. So if you're someone who likes that suds or you need that suds, it definitely has that. This is, says it is 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. Um, it gently cleanses and helps prever preserve color treated hair. I did not notice a difference with my color treatment. I mean, my hair still looks quite yellow, honestly. I need to actually probably put a lot more purple into it to help tone it down again. I need to tone my hair. But this, I think what they're saying though, as far as color, is that it's not going to strip your color out. It's not going to change the color of your hair. So I think it's a really good shampoo. I really do like the Hemp Salon. I think the Hemp Salon is really nice. I love their um, moisturizer that has an SPF in it. That smells absolutely amazing. And it really does work for sunscreen. I really do enjoy that one. So this is something else that I'm going to be putting onto my wish list that I would like to purchase maybe later on down the road. The next thing is the Philosophy Amazing Grace Firming Body Emulsion. Oh my gosh, guys. If you love the Amazing Grace fragrance, you're going to love the body emulsion because the body emulsion smells exactly like that. It's not super hydrating to where a point where you have to feel like you're rubbing and rubbing and rubbing to get it to go into your skin, but it definitely has some hydration to it. I think Philosophy, for me, in my opinion, I feel like is really good for their like lotions and they're good for their perfumes and they're good for like their facial wash. As far as other skincare goes, some of it is kind of like a hit and miss. It's just a big hit and miss, honestly. But this was actually really nice. I do enjoy this and I will definitely continue using that up until it's completely gone. The next thing is the Bare Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Primer. This is more of like a silicone base, but it's a silicone base that I can actually use. Most silicone based primers I can't use because my dry skin, typically it will kind of make my makeup peel back up for because it doesn't stick to those dry patches onto my skin. This did not do that whatsoever. I feel like it was like a hydrating silicone type of product. I really did enjoy this. I will continue to use this as well. I really think this is nice. I haven't found a silicone primer that's quite like this in, in a long time, honestly. So for me, this is something that I was really impressed by. I'm starting to really get into more of the Bare Minerals brand. I feel like the Bare Minerals brand is actually a really decent brand. So something I'm more intrigued by to learn more about that brand. The next thing is this right here. This is the Youth to the People Kale Plus Finish and Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid. This is very, very nice. Now this combined with the Murad was really great for my skin. It's a very thin consistency, but it has a little bit of a um, organic smell to it, but nothing like where, I know like um, Physicians Formula had this organic foundation that I really didn't like the smell to it because it reminded me of putting oatmeal onto my skin. 
this is just more organic that it just smells very natural it smells really nice I really like the way that it hydrates my skin this is something that I would definitely purchase because it has the hyaluronic acid which I think if I'm not mistaken hyaluronic acid is something that pulls the moisture from the air into your skin so if you're someone if you live somewhere where there's not a whole lot of moisture in the air you don't want to do that because it's gonna take the moisture from your skin to put it in I don't know how exactly that works to be honest with you but I just know that's how what I've been explained a little bit by but I really did enjoy this but I consider purchasing it absolutely I think it's very nice the next thing is the Skin Fix. This is the Ultra Rich Body Butter for dry skin. This is very, very, very thick. Like when you put this onto your skin, your skin is going to take a while to absorb it. And I have extra dry skin. But because my skin is so extra dry, sometimes I do have a harder time to absorb it, like the, the lotions and stuff I put on. And I think it's kind of like if you have... For example, say your ground is really, really dry and then all of a sudden you get this really hard rain. Well, that hard rain is not going to absorb. It's just going to kind of like float off the top. It's going to float into the surface. So for me, I have, my skin is very similar to that. My skin is so dry that it kind of like takes a long time to rub it in because my skin is so, so dry. It needs that extra moisturization, but it's like fighting it at the same time. It's really weird. But I really did enjoy this. It didn't really have a scent to it. So if you're someone who is like sensitive to scents or things like that, then this might be something you would enjoy. I particularly love when things that have scents into them. I love things that are fragranced for my body and things like that just because I like to smell very girly. So really like that. I wish it just had a scent to it. Maybe like a coconut scent. The next thing is the Garnier uh, Skin Active Clearly Brighter Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15. 15 honestly is nothing. I mean, you might as well just put nothing onto your skin. I feel like if you are not good, if you're going to go through the effort of putting sunscreen onto your skin, put an SPF 30 or above. That is going to be most beneficial for your skin. The 15 is not hardly anything. I think this is basically for something if you're just going to walk in and out your house very quickly, you're not outside for very long. I think it's a good moisturizer. I just wish there was a bigger SPF in here. I feel like it does do a good job of moisturizing my skin. Just the SPF, I'm not impressed by. I feel like there should be at least a 30 or above in here. And I'm, I don't know. I just feel like if you're going to get an SPF, get 30 or above. It just makes better sense. The next thing is the YSL. This is the Shock Mascara. I don't really like this. It's okay. It's not anything that blew the socks off me. The wand to it, I think, is a little bit weird. I think the wand is different. It's like almost like it's like matted down in certain places. I feel like it's just weird. It's like thick on the end here, thicker on the end here, and then real thin in the middle. It's just very strange. The mascara itself, I feel like I was not super impressed by. I didn't see a dramatic difference to my lashes. Now, I do have very sparse, very short lashes. I don't have a whole lot of volum volum voluptuous lashes or anything like that. So for me, it takes a lot to impress me with mascara. So this one just for me was not that impressive. The next thing are the two perfumes. I have the Replica, the uh, Dancing on the Moon. It smells absolutely amazing. I am realizing I really love the Replica brand. The Replica brand for their perfumes are so good. They're like almost like a muted down scent, but still strong enough. You can definitely tell that you're wearing something. I just love the way that most of the things I've tried from Replica smells. This one in particular smells, I always have to spray it on my skin to get kind of like bring back the memory because I'm not exactly sure. This one reminds me more of like a powdered vanilla, it smells almost like just cake-like almost. It's really good. Would I purchase it? Absolutely. I think it's amazing. The next thing is the Erin, the Amber Musk. This is really good too. Erin is another brand that I feel like has really good perfumes. This one is more, you can't smell the musk as much as what I expected into it. So I basically smell almost like a vanilla, it reminds me of vanilla fields a little bit from if you guys remember that perfume, that's what it reminds me most of, is it reminds me of that perfume. It's got a very vanilla -y scent with a little bit of musk built into it. So I think it's a really great perfume. I, I love that one as well. Erin, like I said, is a brand that I feel like I'm not super familiar with, but everything that I have tried from the Erin brand has been very nice. So happy to try all those products out this past week. So we're going to pull our new samples for this upcoming week. So the first thing I have is the perfume. So I have the perfume container here. I'm going to pull two perfumes out of here. The first one is we have Ellis Brooklyn Sci-Fi. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Sci-Fi. Have you guys ever heard of that before? I don't know what is under my nail. I think it's my liner or something. Then I have Ellis Myth. Oh, that's funny. I got two from the same brand. That'll be interesting. 
So we have myth and sci-fi to try out from the brand called Ellis. Pretty sure that my friend sent me these, so I'm excited to try those out and see how good those are. Now we have our skincare basket. The skincare basket we always pull three out of just because the basket is completely full. I am going to be going through all of my samples again here very soon and pulling out any duplicates because I'm going to be changing how I do the giveaways on my channel. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that as well at the end of, the, of today's video. So the first one is the Strivectin the TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. I've already tried this before, so I'm going to set this to the side for a future giveaway. I really do like that neck cream. It's very, very good. I think it's very expensive. There was like $95 to purchase the full size, so that's why I have not purchased the full size yet. The next thing is the Julep, the Restorative Rosehip Seed Facial Oil. Now, I haven't tried this before. I'm pretty sure I have not tried this, so I'm excited about trying that because I love anything that has rose in it because rose is really good for your skin, especially for dry skin. So I'm excited about that. The next thing is Derma E, the Radiant Glow Face Oil with Jojoba, Argan, and Sea Buckthorn Berry. Sea Buckthorn Oils. So we have two oils to try this week so far for my skin. So somebody knows my skin is super dry. Actually, it's getting a little bit better. It's not as bad as it was. Uh, the next and last sample I have. Ooh, what is this? This looks interesting. These are the Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Capsules. These are, these are the Daily Youth Restoring Serums. So there's little capsules in here. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's little capsules down in there that you, I'm assuming you probably just break them apart and then you put the serum onto your skin and then put it onto your face. So I'm excited about trying that as well. We have lots of good, interesting things that I haven't tried before. Now we're into the body care basket. So I'm gonna pull two out of this basket. Whoops, flying out of everywhere. The first thing in here is this. This is the Nayak, Nayakio Maracuja and Yangu, oh my gosh, soothing oil for your skin. It says for all skin types. I have never heard of this brand before. I'm pretty sure I got this in one of those Ipsy goodie bags that I got recently with my Ipsy haul. Let's see what this looks like. I'm intrigued to see what it looks like. Oh, so it's two different things here. So you've got the dropper, there's the little dropper, and then you get the bottle of oil. So this oil is for your skin, I'm assuming, cleansing lightly onto the face and neck. Uh-oh, we don't need another oil for our skin. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have three oils to try out. So some of those can go for your body though. You don't have to use an oil specifically for your face. You can use them on your body as well. So we have three oils this week to try out now. That's interesting. The next thing is, what do we have here? Ooh, we have the Thymes or Times Kimono Rose Bath Salts. Ooh, I have not tried bath salts in a long time. Oh, it smells really good. It smells very, very, like, very much like a rose. So I'm excited about using that this week. You guys know my love for rose, anything is going to be, that'll be amazing. Oops, I almost dropped it. Got the hair care basket here now. So we're going to pull two out of this basket. Going to try to dig deep without knocking everything over. This is why I need to clean out the baskets because the baskets are completely full. So the first thing is the It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask and the Daily Conditioner and Shampoo. So this is like a three set. Let me show you. I think it's like stuck together here. There we go. So we have the It's a... Oh. Good job, Tiffany. So it's a three piece set. So I'm going to try this out for my hair this week. I love the It's a 10 line. So I'm hoping this will be absolutely amazing. It's Miracle Moisture Shampoo, Miracle Daily Conditioner, and the mask. So I'm excited about trying that out. The next sample from the hair basket is, let's see if we can dig down in here, try to, oh, there goes something flying out. Oh, we have something from Strivectin. So we have the Strivectin, we have another shampoo and conditioner set. So we have the Strivectin set to try out as well. So it's, so it's, it, I'm glad that I wash my hair twice a week because we have two different samples to try this week for shampoo and conditioner. So that's perfect. I don't have to use anything from in my bathroom. Now we're going to move on to the makeup samples. So I'm going to pull two out of this basket. Um, the first one is this. This is the Purity, the Micellar Cleansing Water. So here's a Purity Micellar Cleansing Water. We'll have to try that out. I haven't tried a good micellar water for a while because I've been using just oils and things like that to get my makeup off with. So we'll have to see if I like micellars again because I haven't used them in a while. The next one is, what is this? This is the Monsieur Big, or Monsieur Big, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this, the Lancome Waterproof Mascara. So here's the waterproof version. I've not tried the waterproof before, so I'm going to have to see how hard this is to take off because sometimes waterproof mascaras can be a real pain in the patookas to take off, so hopefully that one's not. 
Okay, so for the sample giveaway from last week, it was this little goodie bag right here. And there's it's filled with some actual nice, decent products in here, which, I mean, usually I do a pretty good job of giving you guys some things, but it's got blushes, it's got some neck creams and some face creams, all kinds of goodies in here. And the giveaway winner is, let me pull up my phone here. And the giveaway winner is Christy A. So Christy A, all you have to do is send me an email and I will mail you this goodie bag. So this is your goodie bag for this week. So next week I have another goodie bag, but then after that I'll tell you guys how the goodie bags are going to be done from here out or from next week out. So this is the goodie bag for this week. This is a cute one. I love this bag right here. I love the gold, rose gold color. So you've got some really nice products in here as well this week. So the first thing is a set of lip products by Mana Kadar. I think that's who this is. Is that Mana Kadar? Um, Lux Lip. Uh, Mana Kadar, yes. So these are Mana Kadar little lip products. You get four of them in here. So that's a great little set. Then we have a Sephora. This is the waterproof eye makeup remover. And this doesn't work for me, but I've heard other people really love this, especially Jessica Braun. She's talked about that several times. Then we have the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. So if you have normal to oily skin, I think you're really going to love this. Then we have the Tarte. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess a little uh, bronzer. Then we have a Bosha. This is the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. So here's a little makeup setting spray by Bosha. And then we have a Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX uh, little primer. So if you have more dry skin, this will be good for that. Then we have some smaller samples here. We have the Beauty Blender Blender Cleanser. We have the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. We have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's tried that before. We have the Bosley Professional Strength Styling Cream. We have the American Crew Forming Cream. And then we have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner Little Set. So all these goodies will be in the giveaway for next week. And to enter this giveaway for this week, if you want to win this little goodie bag filled full of great things, all you have to do is let me know what is your favorite memory from Mother's Day, whether it's something that your kids did for you, something you did for your mom, or just something that you've seen happen or whatever. Just let me know what your favorite memory is for Mother's Day, because since it is Mother's Day and I'd like to celebrate our mamas. So now for next week, how I'm going to be changing the Sample Sunday series um, is that I'm going to, they will not be in a bag anymore. They will c come with a bag. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the samples as we do this. I'm going to get a great big box full of samples that are things that I have already tried. These are things that you guys have not tried or maybe you have tried. I don't know. But these will be brand new samples, obviously. But these will be products that will be in a box and we're just going to randomly draw 10 samples. So from here out, you're going to get 10 samples, whether it's a bigger item, a smaller item, it doesn't matter. It's going to be 10 items. So I'm going to draw them with you guys so you'll see exactly what you're getting and we're drawing them together. So that's how I'm changing the Sample Sunday series for that. Um, as far as some other updates to my channel, I am going to be converting my channel to where I'm only doing five videos a week. Sample Sunday will continue to be on my channel. No worries there. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to change the dates and things like that yet, but I will let you guys know further in another video, like how I'm going to be changing the dates, like what days I'm going to be uploading. Um, and then also I'm going to be changing my makeup basket Mondays to Sorry about that, my battery died and I didn't even realize it was almost dead. Uh, so like I was saying, the makeup baskets are going to be changed from a weekly to a monthly makeup basket. That way there I can pull more items and we're going to put them in a drawer together. So this Monday you will see a review on all the products that I tried for last week, but then you won't see another video on that until later on during the week possibly. And then at that point is when I should have the makeup in my drawer so I can show you guys what's in my monthly drawer that I'm going to be using for the month. And then we'll do some get ready's with me throughout the month if you guys want to do like chatty get ready with me if there's something specific you want to talk about let me know I'm gonna be doing a little bit of changing to my channel some things that I really feel like need some change so you guys will have to let me know if you are thinking these changes are good I am gonna be removing two of my subscription services I think I'm canceling Ipsy as well as Sephora play just because I get I have so many samples obviously I mean I have the sample Sunday series and I feel like both of those subscription services just give me more samples that I really don't need and I feel like this would be the best way to do it and that way there I'm going to keep BoxyCharm and FabFitFun those will be the two that I still keep but I'm getting rid of the ones where you just get more smaller samples 
let me know what you think of all these changes because there are some different changes going to be coming to my channel and like I said I'm going to be cutting back to five videos a week just because I want to spend more quality time with my children while they're home for the summer because I think that is definitely important family time is completely important so let me know if you guys are on board with all these new changes that will be coming up let me know if you have any questions or concerns thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later <music>